Hey guys, you know who it is. It's Joe Cipriani here. How you doing today? You know what time of year it is. It's Philly Spring Training. 2015 pitchers and catchers just reported today. Let's take a look at the 2015 squad and their chances of this year. Here's my projected 2015 lineup. Batting leadoff for the Flightons this year is center fielder Ben Revere. The only thing this guy can do is hit for average. He can't throw a fucking ball or hit a ball out of the fucking infield. So that says a lot. Probably hitting second in the lineup this year is Grady Sizemore. Is this the best we can do in the second spot? A washed up player with two bum knees and a circuit in the minor league system? Batting third for the Phillies, Chase Utley. This is the only guy who's worth a fuck in the lineup. And he's 36 years old, so that tells you a lot where this team is going. And in the cleanup spot once again, it's Ryan Howard. Ryan Howard, I love you. But you need to fucking go, man. Like, you did a lot of memories for us back in the past with the World Series. But, man, you're fucking killing this offense. You need to go, man, and we can't get rid of you. You need to go to the fuck American League, the retirement community of DHs over there. That's where you belong. You don't belong in Philly pinstripes anymore. Hate to say it, bro. In the fifth spot, we have Carlos Ruiz, our catcher. Guy's great with pitchers with the signal calling, but, you know, even with the script of Adderall, he still can't get the clutch hits he did in the past. Batting six for the Phillies, left fielder Dominic Brown. I can't believe this guy's still in the fucking lineup. Two years ago, he had six amazing weeks of baseball, got into an all-star game, and he's still living off those fucking days. Two years ago, six weeks, that's all the guy has, and he's still in the lineup? Fuck that, man. Batting seven for the Phillies, probably Cody Ashey, our third baseman. Don't expect much from this guy. He's mediocre. He's just cheap filler and a shit sandwich we call this lineup. What I'm really hoping for, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed, is Mikel Franco. Right now, this guy shows a lot of promise, you know. he's uh, Right now, he's uh, in the minor league systems, and hopefully he can make it up to the bigs this year. He can play third base. He can play first base. Uh, the guy has a lot of talent and has a lot of promise, so keep your eye on him. And batting eighth for the Phillies, Freddie Galvis. He's the shortstop guy that we thought was going to be the heir apparent to Rollins. Three years ago, we knew the guy was a fucking bum. And he's still on the team. The guy has an okay glove and a 200 batting average. This is going to be a fucking terrible year for the offense. Let's get into the starting rotation. This year, our ace is Cole Hamels once again. This guy is a stud. Former World Series MVP. He's one of the top two left-handed starting pitchers in baseball. So, of course, don't expect him in a Phillies uniform for long. Because he's the only legit trade bait we have on this team. Cliff Lee, our second guy. He's an enigma. You know, he could be injured again all year, or he could pitch lights out, and then he'll be out the door too as trade bait. The third guy in our lineup is Aaron Harang. He's like Kyle Kendricks, but older. He's mediocre, and he's just here to sign a paycheck. Don't expect much from him. Number four, Jerome Williams. The Phillies just signed this guy in the offseason. They're just trying to save money from all the bad deals that they made in the past. So don't expect much from this fucking asshole either. Number five, I'm actually excited about this guy, David Buchanan. This guy shows some promise and I can see making the final spot on the rotation in spring training. It's not even worth mentioning the bench players on this team because they're a bunch of suck ass players. You know, we gotta wait for our prospects to grow since like we fucking drop the ball on our prospects and drop the ball on our contract. Probably the brightest spot on this team is the relief pitching. Ken Giles, Diekman, DeFreitas, they're all bright spots for this team. They all did well last year in the limited time that they had. I see these guys being very successful for the Phillies in the foreseeable future. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, Jonathan Papelbon. Why is this asshat still on the team? Why is he not traded? You know, the Phillies make bad trades every fucking year. So why can't they just trade this guy for a bag of balls? I mean, he gestured toward the Phillies fans, you know, fuck you guys. And he's getting paid $13 million. The guy's only going to have like 20, 30 save opportunities this year. And he's getting paid $13 million for it. Get the fuck out of here, Jonathan Papelbon. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. To put this politely, the Phillies are fucked this year. I can't see them getting out of the basement of the National League East. They have the perfect storm of an expensive aging core along with a lot of shitty prospects that they thought were good. 
The only thing that I can really hope for this year is for the Phillies to make some worthwhile trades and get some value on their returns. I don't know why Ryan Howard and Jonathan Papelbon are still on this team. It really baffles my mind. Fucking Amaro. I can't even believe Amaro's on this team still. How are you going to give up on Rollins, who is still adequate at his age, and you're going to still keep Ryan Howard, who's getting paid $25 million, and Papelbon, who's getting paid $13 million, and ain't producing shit. It took years of bad decisions to get to the point where we're at now, and it's going to take a lot longer for the Phillies to right the ship. Uh, this is going to be a fucking long year. I can't wait till the Eagles draft. That's the next thing you're going to be talking about, and I hope to see you soon.